this is what we came out here for. Look at that giant! There it is. There it goes. Alright, look at that bass. Look at that thing. A brute. Next cast, it's literally next cast. Another dandy perch. Look at that. Our biggest yellow perch yet. Look at that. Now that's a nice one. Big yellow perch again. Time out, we're on the Black River in Wisconsin. Well, not on it, we're actually on the backwaters. Going after perch, really nice perch. Just jigging for them right out, right next to shore in the rocks. We're on like a rock point and we're catching them. Nice yellow perch. Black River in Wisconsin, backwaters. As you can see, a big highway bridge behind me. Enjoy the video of us jigging in the rocks for these guys. So this is our first area, our first spot we went to. Our first location is the backwaters of the Black River in Wisconsin under a highway bridge fishing in the boulders and rocks, looking for these perch. We started on a point, a little point that comes out that's all rocks. And then they, we caught some pretty good ones there. And then we moved under the big highway bridge under them rocks and caught some really nice perch there. Decent perch, a lot of small fish, but decent perch right there. It poked me a couple times already. You can see the blood with the needle on its gill. They're sharp. Another nice perch right there. Really close quarters, fishing right next to shore in these rocks. Getting perch. Black River, backwaters of the Black River in Wisconsin. There we go, another nice perch. I don't know what this is, but it kind of felt nice. It's another nice perch. Next cast, literally next cast. Another dandy perch. Look at that. Wow. Another dandy perch. This is in this spot where I'm fishing, but they're all small. Like, this is our nicest one after catching, like, 30 small ones. So, and this one ain't even a keeper. This is too small for me. Going back. Off the very tip of this that I'm on here, this point just makes an eater. Perch is showing up. That fall bite, it's cooler weather showing up. High low 70s now 60s high 60s low 70s for this week it's starting to slowly cool down a little bit and there's another eater barely this perch it's not big enough it's right under what i want so going back our biggest yellow perch yet look at that probably almost 11 inches we're under the highway bridge in the rocks in the rocks under the highway bridge. We caught him right there. Nice eater perch. It ain't me just sitting in one spot either. I am constantly moving, looking for him like I'm bass fishing. See, I was over there. You can see my backpack. Fish, that's a whole big rock point. That's where I caught started. Now I'm moving, looking for him along all these rocks along the bridge. And the rocks actually go kind of around a ways too. So I'm just looking for them, hunting them down. Main thing is focus on rocks. Look for gravel, rocks. And there might be some perch. Rock bass. I found a couple of them right along here on this side of the bridge. All too small. Same with some largies. I'm catching a lot of largies, but they're all little. Talk about what I'm using here. This is my reel. My rod, and that tiny, tiny little, let me get it for you, little tiny pink jig with this little bit of red worm, just jigging it right next to these rocks along the shore, looking for them like they're bass. The line I'm using is suffix, six pounds, elite. Our perch turned right off, I ain't catching nothing. It's almost noon. It was a morning bite, I guess. That's it. Trying everything. Day shot right off, it's noon, almost noon now. 
nothing. It's just a morning bite. A lot of morning bites lately. It's just, I don't know. It's just like, you know, it's, we're still in the high 70s. Like today is high, gonna get high 60s for once. But it's getting cooler, just not fast enough. We're almost getting close to, it just, yeah, it's just not cooling down fast enough, but it's gonna get there. We're starting to see perch. Like today, we seen more perch, but they shut right down, you know, get too hot for them. Anyway, that's it from the backwaters here on the Black River, this backwater lake. Fishing rocks, that's it. We got about, we got around five or above five. I don't know what to tell you, but it sucked that they shut off because they were some pretty nice yellow perch. They were pretty nice. So our second location here is we're on the boat on the backwaters of the Mississippi River at a state park and we started to find all these perch along the lily pads. So wherever we found lily pads, that's where we were mostly focused in fishing. And we were focused on this point that comes out on the point, covered, you know, a lily pads all along here and that's where the perch were. And we just stayed with them lily pads. Wherever we had lily pads, that's where we were fishing and we were finding the perch there. We'll see what happens. Yeah. Eight and a half. Yeah. I haven't seen a big pumpkin seed like that for a while. Yeah. Probably over 10 inches. Yeah, that's a nice one. It might even be bigger than 12 inches. It might be too big to keep. No, no way. That's a perfect. Like you 12 inches. That is a tank. There's a lot of perch, but not many small, or I mean big ones so far. Big yellow perch again. Another nice yellow perch. Three, two, one. Another tank. <laughs> Not catching too many, but catching some some nice, really nice ones. Well, since I caught one of them nice ones, I was sunny. Eater size, I guess. Yeah, I don't know. Come up here, I start catching. Unless they like the pink jig more up here than. I don't know. This one doesn't make it. Uh, probably right under 10 inch, right at 10 inches. That's probably close to 12 inches right there, finally. The nice one. <laughs> 